Hello YouTube, it's your host, Pete Sherman Wallaby 10 Gaming, and in today's video, um, I'm going to cover all the gadgets found in Battlefield 1's beta. Uh, just to let you know, this is only for the, uh, when the game launches, and so there might be more, uh, like, uh, gadgets or weapons. No, just today's video is all the gadgets, so, um, so expect some more gadgets probably when, the, when all the other DLCs come out. It's like when Battlefield 4 launched and all the other DLCs came out. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, the first one we have to go through is the Assault class, and so it's basically the Assault guy comes with most of the explosives, so it's kind of kind of like from BF4, where it was kind of uh, like the Engineer slash the Assault guy, it's kind of like a combination now. So let's get into it. The uh, first one is the AT Rocket Gun. The AT Rocket Gun is a, uh, uh, like, um, a rocket launcher that is used uh, by the assault class and you have to like line the ground to use. It was really powerful and it's really useful when you're fighting against a tank and you want to try to at least stay back and you don't want to go up to its face and just like, hi I got a big bazooka and I'm going to blow you up with it. Uh, so you can't do that like in BF4, you have to really lie down and set up the uh, scope or the AT rocket gun to get ready. Then, following behind it is the uh, AT rocket, uh, AT grenades. Uh, pe uh, most people should have had it when they were playing as the assault when the beta launched. Uh, so the AT rocket guns are like um, these, basically these uh, heavy uh, grenades, and you throw it onto the tank. So if you throw it onto the tank when the um, AT rocket gun, like the AT, <laughs> sorry, excuse me, AT hand grenade lands onto it, it will automatically blow up, or soldier too, if you want to use that too as a grenade. But if you uh, kind of miss the, the target, you have to, it kind of has a sec, like a couple seconds of delay. Then, uh, then the third, I think like the third one is the, uh, like the newest one, I believe, uh, was a, the, <laughs> what was it, the, uh, this, like, anti-mine, there's, like, apparently this kind of, like, mine you can place down, and it kind of, like, sticks onto tanks, but it has a short delay. It was kind of used as an underwater thing, so it's, like, used for against ships and stuff, or, like, ships, battleships, destroyers, and submarines, and submarines and all that, uh, and battleships are in the game, so expect that probably be useful. I don't know how it's going to work against land vehicles, so uh, we'll just have to wait till the game comes out and so everyone gets to try it out. Then this, and then the final one is dynamite. So it's not like the C4 found in BF4, where dynamite was like a C4 was chucked and you can it automatically sticks. So uh, dynamite, you have to kind of like throw it on and you have to kind of quickly blow it up. So it's not like a quick stick on like uh, C4 was. Now we're moving on to the medic class. So the medic, most people uh, that play the medic, uh, I think there's like not a lot of medics in the game. So in the open beta, but in, I hope in uh, the uh, the uh, final release there'll be probably be more people playing the medic class. All right, let's cover the medic uh, g uh, gadgets. Uh, the medic gadgets include the uh, syringe. <laughs> I bet you saw that when you were playing as a medic. But the syringe is basically like a quick revive. It's like a it's like a revived soldier, so it's basically the defibrillator from BF Battlefield 4. But the problem was that was no one used it because there was a glitch where if you wanted to be revived, no one would see the icon unless the person that kills you uh, would see it. So hopefully, and DICE said they would fix that, so hopefully they will fix that so more medics can be seen on the field. And then following behind that is called the, uh, the medic bag and crate. It's, it's like your average uh, healing up station. The uh, crate is basically for groups of soldiers, uh, and the, the pouch is for like a single. It's like basically more solo version of it if you want to keep running around and do that stuff. But the uh, the crate one's more for like if you want to support your uh, teammates and like stay with them and throw uh, health to them. And another cool uh, um, gadget I saw in the bait um, in the, uh, like from the files, like from different other YouTubers covering it was this uh, thing called, it's called the rifle grenades. It's basically these grenade launchers. Yeah, it's just not like, new, it's like new tubes basically from <laughs> like Call of Duty back in the day. But basically there's uh, three different variants. There's one called high, there's one called high explosive, one called uh, smoke, and one called incendiary. 
Uh, so these are basically just different variants of uh, like basically uh, grenade launchers. And I hope and the smoke one sounds really cool because it'll cover you when you're playing rush or more of the ejective game modes. And it'll help you uh, help your teammates a lot too because you can quickly arm an ejective or get captured an ejective without being seen. But your enemies will probably keep shooting through that smoke. They probably get you killed. Um. Now we're going to the support class. The uh, I think the support class needs a little bit more love too, like with the medic class too, because uh, they need a lot more anti-tank uh, weapons because there's tons of tanks on the field. And I think there'll be a couple maps where it's infantry only maps, but for like hopefully they uh, fix it so the support class can get more vehicles or like t uh, or no no not vehicles but anti uh, weapons. Vehicle weapons. All right, let's get into it. So the first one is the trip mines. It's basically your average uh, trip mine, and you place it down, and you can. It's like a booby trap, basically. So when someone's playing like rush, and you uh, place it down, it's kind of like a quick. Uh, it's like a small. It's like a basically a booby trap. And when someone walks onto it, they'll blow up. There's three variants. Is I I think there's two. I don't remember, but I didn't play a lot of support, but I remember seeing the incendiary, the ex uh, high explosive, and I think, I don't know the other one, but it was like a cluster of them, cluster version, so that's what you get for the trip vines. Then there's like from uh, BF, like BF4 is the ammo pack and the ammo pouch, it's like your average thing, so basically what it does is throw ammo and uh, uh, like, you just, it basically gives ammo to, uh, groups of soldiers. Or by yourself if you're doing solo, which is helpful, because, uh, you can do that. So that's what the, uh, uh, what, what was it, <laughs> the ammo patch, pouch, and the ammo crate does. But, the ammo patch can give you grenades, I believe, and the ammo, uh, pack, uh, ammo crate. But, but if you're doing more of a solo run, uh, it's better if you equip the ammo, uh, uh pouch, because, You'll probably be only re uh, re uh, refilling your ammo, and then uh, the coolest uh, uh, op uh, like gadget in the beta file so far. Don't worry, there'll be more probably when DLCs, paid DLCs come out, or like more of the DLCs come out. It's called the uh, mortar. The mortar is equipped. It's basically just like it's like the thing from BF4. But it looks like it has to be um, like hand controlled because they didn't have like remote control back then, like remote control motors. So you have to be up close and personal with it, kind of like thing. So the mortar comes in three variants. Uh, it's called the anti, uh, the uh, high explosive, smoke, and gas variants, and also incendiary. Just to let you know, I think that's four. I think um, those are from the files. Uh, I hope they give the support more anti-tank weapons, such as, like, probably, like, the anti-tank grenades, or the dynamite, because that would be so helpful. Because uh, then it will be, because <laughs> then they'll make, uh, um, like, the support will get some, at least some grenades to at least fight back against the ta against tanks and stuff like that. And then the final, and then the final class is the scout class, which is mainly the, mo like, one of my, mo my most popular classes I use in the beta. The, uh, let's say, the, the scout comes with the binoculars. It was, yeah, not a lot of people use it, but I use it a couple times just to spot people. It's basically, it kind of like, it helps you, you can um, use that to uh, spot enemies when you're in cover. And so when you're lying down on like a, a, a crater, someone blew up, or like a, a, like a destroyed tank, and you're using that as cover, you can, you can use that as some sort of like, spotting uh, gadget so you can don't see your enemies without <laughs> your head, head poking up. And then falling behind that is the K-Bullets, which is basically the uh, anti-tank gadget for the scout class. Uh, the K-Bullets are really helpful with tanks, but if it's only if it's, uh, if you're playing only like Team Deathmatch or Domination, it's not going to be really handy because there won't be any uh, vehicles on the field. So that's what the K-Bullets do. Um, and then <laughs> these cool other, uh, these two other ones that are really cool. It's called the, uh, I think it's called like a, a trench, uh, it's like a sniper shield. So basically it's like this like a shield that you place down and you can use as like some sort of cover as you're sniping. 
and you don't have to like peek your head out you can like you can just like or like you don't have to like move a lot you can just like stay still and you can stay in the same position for a long time while the enemy t team is trying to shoot at you and the bullets are bouncing off from the trench cover i think it's called a trench shield uh, and then there's the <laughs> this really funny thing called the the decoy uh, I the decoy weapon. It's basically this like it's like this uh, it's like a decoy you place down. It's basically um, it's like this like helmet or something like that that you place down, and it kind of distracts the enemy and they think it's an actual soldier, and so they'll start shooting at multiple times and it helps your team see where the enemies are located. And so, it'll be very funny for the enemy team uh, seeing these, uh, when they see that, and they'll think it's an actual team, uh, enemy soldier, so they'll start lighting it up, but nothing's happening, so it's just, that'll be a really funny uh, gadget to use. And then also, all the grenades I'm going to cover today's video, uh, let's just go start up. There's the normal hand grenade, there is the incendiary grenade, the impact grenade, it's like, it basically... It's, it's, it's just an impact grenade. It does, I think it does more damage to vehicles, but less damage to soldiers. I don't remember, but I think that's what they do. And then following behind it is the, I think it's called the, uh, what's that? The must, the gas grenades. I always use that as the salt class, because it looks cool. Like, it's basically just gas grenades, basically, you could throw it around. And then, uh, following behind that is the smoke grenades. And the, uh, just like the smoke grenades are just providing cover for your teammates to use up and push up to an objective. Then, uh, finally, there's the, uh, what's the other ones? Mini grenades. Mini grenades are back, so expect people to use that as, like, spamming grenades, basically. But they're still useful, so that's, like, just basically you come equipped with two mini grenades. You come to equipped with two grenades instead of one grenade. Uh, any, I don't know any of the other grenades, but that's kind of it. Um, that's basically it. That is all the gadgets in the beta, Battlefield 1's beta files. Um, I hope they fix it, uh, add some, like, anti-tank gear to the medic class and to, like, and the support class that could be useful. Oh, wait, I forgot to mention one more thing. The, uh, the, the medic had the wrench. The wrench is basically just, like, the repair tool for the Battlefield 1, so the repair tool, like the repair, uh, the, the <laughs> repair kit, that's basically that what's called it. It's basically just like repairing tanks, uh, with the, uh, uh, just repairing tanks with a wrench, and it's kind of helpful, just repairing tanks, and supports your teammate, uh, tank, friendly tanks. I don't think, I don't know if you can, like, run up to a tank and just, like, damage it, <laughs> like you can do with, like, BF4's, uh, repair tool, uh, repair tool. Uh, so that's basically, that's the one final thing for the medic class found in the files. Uh, that's basically it. Um, I hope they just fix the, uh, support class and the medic class to give them more love with anti-tank grenades. And hopefully DICE will fix the, uh, issue of the medic, like, all the medic, uh, the medic revive, uh, issue. Because, uh, in the beta there was a problem, right, uh, where... The medic uh, uh, icon, like when you wanted to revive someone, didn't pop up, and so you didn't. You, if you wanted to revive someone, you had no idea if they were alive or not. Uh, so that's basically uh, all all the gadgets in the today's video and grenades too. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Um, don't worry if I won't be posting uh, on like during the school week. I'll try to get another video out pretty soon, so uh, expect one just like later, I don't know when, but I'll try to get another uh, video out pretty soon for you guys to enjoy. Um, so just make sure you uh, click the uh, subscribe button to see more videos from me. And also uh, remember to uh, like, uh, share, subscribe, share it to uh, anyone that is interested to see more BF1, uh, Battlefield 1 news and uh, coverage. Also, I do battle, uh, Battlefield 4 and Zombies, uh, COD Zombies. Um, so that's basically it. Hope you guys didn't enjoy today's video. Um, that's all I have to say. Um, have an awesome week. Have a uh, great school week. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. And I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome day. And an, an awesome week. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.